I'm Eric Pratt from U.S. Broadcast Distribution, and today we're going to talk about the ADA UHD 6G200 4K 6G camera. It's this unit here, which can output 6G SDI, that's 4K at 30p, uh, as well as a variety of other formats like HD SDI, and it has a whole range of features that we're going to go into to explain exactly how awesome this little tiny camera can be. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to take you on a little tour of the camera first. On the front we have a C slash CS mount lens. This is a fairly wide angle um, lens, so this is about 90 degree field of view is what comes with it, but there are a lot of lenses in the C and CS mount uh, genre, so you can get wide angle, you can get zoom lenses. These are also fairly fast lenses for this size uh, that let in a lot of light to the sensor, which is great in a 4K environment. Um, on the side here is the headphone and microphone inputs, and we also have the USB firmware updating port. On the back, here's the important stuff. This is your SDI connectors. It's, this is 6G, which is 4K P30. We can also do a variety of other formats out of here, uh, HD, 1080p60, uh, 720, etc. So this is not just a 4K camera. This can also be every other kind of format uh, below 4K P30. So that gives it a, a wide range of versatility. Over here, this is the connector for the uh, pigtail cable, which brings in power, control, and RS-485. So we can use this uh, to navigate through the menu. This is our RS-485 connector, so we can wire that up for our control. And then this is for power. And then let's take a look at the sensor itself. So the camera is uh, has a sensor which is 1 over 2 5 inches, which is a little bit bigger than a 1 3rd inch chip and a little bit smaller than a half inch chip, which is a great size for a camera um, that's really this small. This is a very small form factor and it's a very large sensor for such a, such a small camera, especially at such an affordable price point. Um, one other small note is that it has mounting holes on both sides. So you can undermount it, or you can put it on your tripod, whatever your uh, pleasure, whatever works best for your production. So with that, let's take a closer look at what this thing can do. For this particular setup, I have the UHD 6G200 going out 6G into the Rakeen MVP. This is a 4K region of interest box, and the two are actually great uh, partners together because this is a very cost-effective way of putting out a 4K 6G signal and this is a very uh, cost-effective way of taking a 4K 6G signal and turning it into a variety of regions of interest, these HD outputs, which you can see in the different windows behind me. Um, it's also great as a format converter because while the uh, Switchblade Turbo has a 6G option, I don't have the 6G option on this particular system. So I'm converting the 6G um, SDI signal into a 4K HDMI signal to bring it into here so that we can take a look at it because I'll be recording it here and showing you the uh, menu output on this system. So all of these products work nicely in conjunction with each other and that is one of the other benefits of the ADA product is it's so uh, widely functional with a different array of products. So with that, let's take a closer look at this setup. So in order to give you an idea of the amazing features behind the ADA UHD 6G200, I'm going to have to take you on a little tour of the menu system. So I'm going to use the menu controller here and I'm going to bring us into the menu and you can see, wow, it's really small. So I'm going to use, and that's because we're running in 4K, um, I'm going to use this to zoom in on a little piece of this 4K window. So you at home can see the main menu a little bit better. And we have in the um, main part of the main menu is the exposure, white balance, uh, day and night, digital noise reduction, privacy, effect, special setup, uh, and exit. And each of these contains uh, submenus which have a lot of information in and of themselves. Uh, auto exposure mode, uh, different modes of exposure. So if we go to manual or go back to auto, 
um, how the auto gain correction is, uh, how much is being applied. We could put this to off. So this is what it would look like without any uh, auto gain correction, or we can adjust that sensitivity upwards um, to be higher. And then we have a number of other uh, options under like white balance. So we have indoor, outdoor, manual. Um, we have uh, day and night, which we can actually uh, flip this into a night mode. Um, I'm going to leave it in daylight so we can have color. And then um, digital noise reduction, we have 2D and 3D, uh, 2D, 3D. I'm going to leave it on both of these. This helps with um, low level, uh, low light scenarios. Um, it's going to do that automatically. Um, so there's a lot of settings there. Privacy is an interesting feature. I've not seen this on other cameras. I'm going to zoom out for a second so that you can see the full full range. It gives you eight different squares that you can go through and adjust their position on. So I'm going to adjust this green one. You can see it moving there. So I can place it to cover up certain things. Um, I can adjust the color so you know I can make them all one color. Um, I thought that was an interesting feature. Um, I'm going to leave that off for now. Uh, effect. Uh, lens shading. Actually, I'm going to zoom back out again for lens shading. If you turn lens shading off, if you look at the corners of the image, you can see that they, they change color. Uh, so lens shading is a function that lets you um, adjust, uh, accommodate for some of the dimming at the corners of the lenses. Uh, all kinds of other normal color correction settings, brightness, saturation, uh, edge enhancement, different um, adjustments of the image. Special, um, these are, uh, there's a variety. I'm going to show you backlight. Backlighting is one of the other interesting features. This is a backlit sensor. So if I turn um, that function uh, on, it, uh, it, it shows you the different functions of uh, how the backlighting um, works. And then last, there is setup. This is an important uh, area. We can title the camera. So if I want to um, set the camera to be camera A, give it a name, A9. And then if we back out for a second, you'll see that that's uh, off up in the upper left hand corner there. I'm going to leave cam title off. Uh, RS45, this is what the camera's ID is and its baud rate. Menu color, factory reset, system info, and the very most important one, output format, currently set to 4K um, 30. But going through, we've got you know 2997, 25, 24. Um, this is 4K 4096, so the output while the sensor is a uh, 3840 sensor, uh, we can output um, 4096. So there's 4096, 30, uh, 25, 720p, uh, 60, 1080i, 60, 1080p, 60, 1080p, 59. Um, so just about every flavor of um, format that you could want to configure your output for is available in the menu settings here. And with that, that is a pretty um, good overview of the menu system of the ADA 6G UHD 200. There you have it, the ADA 6G UHD 200. It's a powerhouse of a little tiny camera that packs a ton of features in a very small form factor. This is gonna be great for a wide variety of applications, everything from any kind of tiny space that you might want to fit a camera, like inside of a NASCAR car or in eSports where you don't have a lot of space between your computer and the, uh, the player so that you can evaluate the reactions. These are also perfect for just about any venue where you might want to use a camera, like a church or town council or any kind of uh, broadcast environment where space is limited and you want to get a great high quality signal. 
And as I've shown here, it's also a great companion to the Switchblade Turbo. Uh, it also works well with the Rakeen MVP to bring in those 4K signals for Real True 3 4K live production. So if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to us. And if you are interested in purchasing the product, you can check out uh, the best place to buy this on the ADA website, which is adaimaging.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.